just get any word about some of the flags here that are flying in the car park of the travel lodge. It's the uh, Cross of St George travel lodge and that's the European Union flag and the reason I'm uh, surprised at that um, is because it's come up in the uh, paper this past week or so that according to how many bailouts, well not bailouts, but how many funds, how many special projects are funded by the European government, one of the stipulations for receiving such uh, monies is that you have to fly their flag and the, the reason that's come up is because a lot of institutions that get funding from the European uh, Union don't bother and what I find interesting about this place is they've obviously had some funds at some point and they actually are flying it. Now considering there's only three, they don't even have a they don't even have a, a, a union flag here. Literally just their own flag, which is that one, the English flag, and the European Union, which is the only one billowing in the breeze. There we are. Right, so let's go into my hotel room. It is room 101, card entry. Whoops, on the side there. Close the door. Like this, little spy hole, which we, with which we can actually see out. So if you have any callers. Fire instructions. Escape route. No smoking sign. Oh, the jazzy. Um, painting this this is a bit uh, a bit um, modernist anyway this building used to be called I believe the Chaucer Hotel uh, which includes a house and a hotel which have been joined together um, the house is a grade listed 
uh, I think grade 2 listed building. Uh, so the myth that this place has been built um, in the last year is, is untrue. However, it has been refurbished completely and, and you can tell, I mean, there isn't a scratch um, anywhere, really. All the plaster work at the bottom, you know, might be a bit bumpy, but it's that's because it's an old, an old building. It's, but it's all, it's all very new. Lots and lots of nice sockets. There's this, which um, is supposed to both blow and heat. Uh, I've managed to get it to heat, but I couldn't get it to blow. Um, not quite sure how to use it. Uh, certainly needs plugging in for a start, but then, you know, presumably it's just on the scale, but anyway, never mind. Full length mirror, hello. Uh, this is my, my desk. It's quite straightforward. Um, they do have a little bar uh, and an, an eatery downstairs that they do breakfast, so there's some menus there. Condiment set, I've got tea and coffee, which is nice. I have a TV as well, plastic chair in a bin. Again, this is this is new, so you would expect it to be unchipped, and it's sort of more or less perfect. Window, the view is not great because what I, I'm I'm up one level, but there is in fact a level above me as well. And uh, if you can see, this is sort of out onto the roof, um, but you can see above as well. Uh, so there we are. This is... I find this annoying. I mean, it's good. It's good, but it's also annoying. So, for safety reasons, you can only open the window a certain distance. Um, which is good, because it stops little children walking out onto the roof and, and uh, over the other side it stops people, you know, falling out of the window. The bad thing is, though, uh, this room does get quite hot and you can't get much air in with it un unless you could open it fully. Um, you know, it's... That is preference more than anything else. There is slight cracking down at the bottom here. Uh, you can see just along the window's edge here. Again, this is, this, this is, this is old. Um, everything else is fantastic. I've got my bed over this side here. Which is very comfy indeed, a very comfy bed. And I like the fact that they've built their sort of side table into the head into the into the headboard there. Fantastic. Wardrobe, open plan, plenty of space. Um again quite nice. Into the bathroom. Oops, struggling a little bit with the light level. That's why it's going a bit blurry. There we are. Uh toilet. Uh, wash basin, large shower, which is very nice. I mean, it is a bit lacking. Uh, I have a bar of soap. There we are. Again, plug shaver there, and another mirror. Hello. And that really is about my room. So, I've been here, I'm staying two nights, um, which is fantastic. The hotel had no problem. Uh, keeping us, me in the same room. Um, there is a little bit of confusion and that's that depending on how late you uh, come in you need, there are three pass doors to enter. The first one is the, the main door into the reception, the second one is the reception into whichever wing of the hotel you're in and the third one is of course your room. Um, I found that the room key is fantastic the entrance to the door doesn't matter unless you arrive past midnight. But sometimes you can have a bit of trouble with your keycard getting into your wing. Um, it's not really a concern to me because uh, reception is always staffed, so if you have a problem you just go up and they'll, they'll let you in. I think some of that is to do with the card keys and, and they're ironing out that process. Because they haven't been open long. And the only other thing that I love about this room, I have to show you with the light off. So bear with me just a second. Right. So here is my bed. You're seeing it light from the um, from the window. But watch this. Bedside light. Very nice. But I like this one. 
Look at that. That's just lovely. Late in the evening when you're watching a film and you've just got you, you can turn the, the room lights off and you've just got backlighting. You're looking this way towards the TV up in the corner. How lovely is that?